Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read here. Let's get right into it. First of all, I want to let you guys know this is going to be um, it's going to be a late reading. And the reason why is because the internet went out. My internet went out. And so um, I can still do the reading and and I still have internet on my phone. And so I can, um, but I only have like, <clears throat> I live in a real desolate area. So I have like maybe, I have two bars on my phone. Um, but it is high speed. So um, I still have the access. So I'm gonna upload the video. It's just gonna take a long time to upload. Probably, <laughs> you know, a long time, maybe an hour or so. So what I'll do is I'll upload it and I'll schedule it. and. Uh, Sorry about it being late, but yeah, my internet went out. What's going on with Pisces? So we have uh, Jera. Jera. So Jera is a good rune, Pisces. This is talking about. Um, this is talking about some sort of a breakthrough after a really difficult situation, okay? So something, you know, that's been going on, it's been, it's been very difficult. It's about ready to, you're gonna have a breakthrough. Um, it's also, this is a form of light, so uh, you're gonna be able to see something too. Something is coming to light. Now what else is going on with Pisces? So we have um, Awas. Awas is uh, is the death rune. Okay, so the death rune is really positive. It's like this is a new beginning. After this big ma massive breakthrough, you're having there's some something. There's something here, Pisces, that's going to massive. It's going to be a massive breakthrough because there's something that's been really. Um, Something that's been really bothering you for quite some time, whatever it is, it's 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 ending, and it's something new is coming of it. So, man, yeah, good good read so far. <laughs> what else is going on? So we low. So we low. Huh. Well, so we low is the sun. And in runes, it's a little different than tarot, if you're new. Uh, but it's still very beneficial. You know, gosh, if we didn't have the sun, you know, we wouldn't have any food. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be alive. So, um, yeah, the sun is very beneficial. But, you know, in runes, the sun is... Um, it illuminates everything, of course, just like the sun does in tarot. But if you stand in the sun too long in runes, it, it, you can get burned. You know, like sunburn. Um, so it depends upon what rune, what runes are touching the sun. And in this case, this new beginning is touching the sun. That's very, very good. That's bright. So you have a bright, uh, a bright new beginning. Yeah. yeah. If it was sitting next to a, you know, a rune that wasn't so positive, it would be intensifying that. It intensifies. What's going on with Pisces? And then we have Gable. And it, Gable is a really very positive room too. Gable, this is about some sort of a gift. I think you're going to get some sort of a gift, Pisces. If this isn't a gift, then it's something very, very good. I mean, it could be, it could be love. Uh, Gable can talk about love too. 
Uh, but yeah, this could be a gift or some sort of, you know, blessing. You know, of course, a, a gift is a blessing, you know. Um, yeah, love is a blessing. What's going on with Pisces? It was. It was. Wow, you got the death rune twice. Wow. This is really, this, this, uh, this is, uh, this is the main thing here, Pisces, right here. It's right here in the middle of the reading. Yeah. This is talking about new beginnings. Something new. Something from this. This blessing here, this blessing, it's a big blessing. It's a huge blessing. It's sitting next to the sun. I mean, you know, normally, you know, Gable is just Gable, but Gable went next to the sun. It's a major, major blessing, okay? And if it's love, it's major love. But whatever it is, it's going to, it's, it's something that's starting new and fresh. Kind of like the saying goes, out with the old and in with the new, right? And that's exactly what this is saying. I mean, I see it twice. Out with the old, in with the new. Going on with Pisces. Try to um, he was. Try to respond to situations differently, Pisces. You know, differently than you normally do. And see, and you'll see different. You'll see a different result. Okay, it's kind of hard to do that, especially if you're set in your ways. Um, but that will definitely help you uh, in the long run if you can try to, you know, do that. Um, you know, you get tired of of certain things in your life, so. Instead of approaching them the way that you normally do, approach them differently or think of them differently or do something different. But, you know, I see new, I see new, 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 out with the old, in with the new. What else is going on here with Pisces? Urus. Hmm. Urus. Urus here is in reverse, okay? So Urus is... Um, this is Aries energy, Pisces. This could be... Um, this could be somebody that you trust here. You got Menez here. This person trusts you too as well. This is like a trust. This could be a partner. This could be um, a spouse. It could be a good friend. It could be somebody in your family. It could be somebody, somebody that you trust for sure. And it looks like, um, you know, with Urus in reverse, you know, they could be very tired um, and they could also uh, feel like maybe they lost something. Yeah. They could feel like they lost something. What's going on with Pisces? So we have uh, Jera again. 
Wow, that's good. This is really good. Jerry here is talking about a breakthrough. See, this uh, person here who has Aries in their chart doesn't have to be an Aries, doesn't have to have, you know, someone with Aries in their chart, probably does. So, could be any sign, but they could be going through a hard time, okay? And, 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 and maybe not even saying anything, but they could be. Um, and with Gerald right here, this is a breakthrough. So they're going to have a breakthrough. Whatever difficult time it is that they're, that is going on with them, it, it's, this is a breakthrough, all right? And it's also talking about balance, bringing balance. Yeah, and this is talking about balance here as well. We got Jera right over here. Balance. Huh. What's going on with Pisces? Hagelez. Hagelez. Hmm. So Hagelez is uh, something shocking, Pisces. This is something shocking. Um, this is going to be a shocking breakthrough. It's going to be a real shocking breakthrough. It's going to... You know, it's 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 gonna it's gonna be the end of something and the beginning of something really positive, very very bright and shiny. You know, a a wonderful some sort of a gift or a blessing. It's not only going to be shocking to you, extremely shocking. It's going to be shocking to this other person over here too. This person here, um, this person who trusts you, this person who you trust. Yeah, it's going to come shocking to you. If this is like a spouse or something, you know, and, um, or, um, or a family member or some, or a close friend or someone like that, it's going to be shocking to them too. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get some cards out. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. That's the wrong ones. Let's get these. What's going on with Pisces? You know, I was digging around, looking around for um, for a spear. I was looking around for the Halloween cards, and I was looking around for, you know, other stuff, and I found these cards, and, you know, I never used them. So I'm going to use them. I used them last night. I don't know what the name of them are, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> they're mainly black and white. So we have the judgment card. Huh. So I like this judgment card. Look at that card, Pisces. You see the, uh, the light, the bright white light. Hmm, and something coming from the sky, some sort of judgment is coming, and it's, it, it, it's, it's, whatever is being judged, it's being judged for the better. This is, this is, this is light over darkness. You see the light coming out and covering up this, it's, it's, it's light over the darkness. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> I'm kind of... Because I'm, I'm not looking through the camera, but now I am. Yeah. Light over the darkness. Huh. So this is really, you know, maybe there's some sort of legal deal going on with somebody, uh, you know, that I'm reading for. Somebody that is watching this video. There could be something going on, you know, legally, some legal thing. But whatever it is, if this is something that's legal, you know, like some sort of... Uh, you know, something in the justice system. Um, this is good news for you because this is light over darkness and this is, yeah. And look at all of this. It's, you know, there's the light. Yeah. That's interesting. 
So let's see what else is going on with Pisces. <laughs> Wow, we got the High Priestess. The High Priestess. That's our energy, Pisces. Have you seen the High This is what the High Priestess looks like. Yeah. Hmm. So this is our energy, Pisces. There could be something, uh, something secret here, something you don't know about. Um, it could run the other way as well. It could be something... Um, that you are keeping secret and um, that you're keeping under wraps. But I'm kind of thinking it's something that you don't know. All right. And for sure, it's our energy. This is us. What's going on with Pisces? Wow, the ten of the ten of Pentacles. Look at this, Pisces. The ten of Pentacles. And this one's in full color because the ten of Pentacles is everything. That's why this. That's why this card has all the colors on it because the ten of Pentacles is everything. This is what everybody wants. This is money. This is your money. Your money is getting way better, Pisces. Something is going on here with your money. Yeah. Maybe this is some sort of a legal case that's going to grant you some money. I don't know. Could be. Let's continue. And I don't know. The Ten of Pentacles... Um, and especially in this deck, because, you know, the Ten of Pentacles can talk about, you know, a mixed family. But, you know, this Ten of Pentacles is pretty much just straight up just nothing but Pentacles. I'm thinking this is just money. <laughs> Which is fine by me. <laughs> oh, what's, what's going on with Pisces? <laughs> Uh, you got the strength card. The strength card. Hmm. You know, this is uh, this is Leo energy, Pisces. This is uh, this is Leo energy, but I like this strength card. And look at this strength card. You can see all the different colors in. I don't know if you can see that. You see all the different colors in the. Uh, infinity uh, sign on the lion's head and you can see all the different colors coming from the rays of the sun so this is really very positive and, and it's also talking about um, how strong we really truly are Pisces um, I also notice on this card too um, that this lion has a white rose in his mouth and white roses indicate purity. Yeah. And purity and justice. See? White, pure white light. Purity. Hmm. I like this. Let's continue. What's going on with Pisces? Got the uh, the Nine of Swords. Hmm. So maybe this is our energy here, Pisces. Well, of course, it's our energy, the high priestess. But maybe we're feeling worried about something. Okay, you're worried? Worried about something? Yeah. Maybe you're worried about... Um, maybe you're worried about this person here. You know? 
this person here that you love, this person here that, that you trust. Yeah. And that could be, you know, a close friend. It could be like a family member. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know what? Worrying ain't never really got in yet. You know, sometimes it's okay to worry helpful to be healthy about worrying, but, um, I see the Ten of Pentacles here, you know, I mean, something's going to change. This is a, this is a breakthrough. And this is their energy. So they're going to have a breakthrough. Yeah. And this is going to flip around. And that usually never happens. But it's going to in this instance because, um, because I feel it and I see it. I see it. I see it just too much. You know, this could be, um, this could be you and your family. But this person here is is um, going to have a bit breakthrough also. It's going to be shocking to the both of you. <laughs> What's going, what else is going on with Pisces? Wow, you got the Eight of Wands. I thought that was the Swords at first, but thank goodness it's, it's the Eight of Wands. <laughs> and the Eight of Wands is talking about communication. So this is some sort of a communication, all right? And look at this card. This is kind of a really trippy looking card. Uh, this card here is, um, it's got the, the lightning bolt, you know, coming down from the sky, hitting one of the one of the wands, you know. This is communication. It is coming out of nowhere. It's like a lightning bolt. It's like coming out of nowhere. It's like shocking. Wow, well, well, you know, lightning is electricity, right? Shocking. <laughs> yeah, shocking information is coming in. And that's right underneath the Ten of Pentacles. What else is going on with Pisces? You got the Six, the six of Coins or the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Equal give and take. This is very, very positive. I mean, it's, it's, it's natural it's, and it's normal. It's not, like, um, it's not like your typical six of, uh, six of uh, pentacles. Yeah, this is, uh, this is natural and it's, it's, uh, it's just, it's equal, it's even, everything is even. It's really good. This is talking about balance. See Jera here? This is balance. This is talking about balance. Shocking balance. Shocking balance. Equal give and take. Wow. Hmm. What's going on? This is kind of weird. I we'll wonder where this is leading to. Wow, the star, the star. So this is, uh, the star is uh, wishing upon a star. Look at this star. Yeah, this is a wish fulfillment. It's also Aquarius energy, but this is a wish fulfillment. There's really no need to worry here, Pisces. There's no need to worry. This is a wish fulfillment coming. All right. It's going to be some shocking, shocking news. I love these cards. These are trippy. <laughs> what else is going on with Pisces?
The Son of Cups. The Son of Cups. Hmm. The Son of Cups is talking about the Son of Cups. Here it is. It goes right here. The Son of Cups. <laughs> I had this pulled all the way down here. I'm like, where does that go? There it goes. The Son of Cups is talking about um, romance. It could be romance, and it could be hypersensitive. All right. So this is this is like one of those wild cards. It's like a it's a wild card in the tarot deck. But this particular wild card is um, talking about. Um, it is talking about, um, you know, something being very sensitive, sensitive, sensitive information coming, maybe. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on here. You got the Two of Cups. That's you and someone else. You and someone else coming together. Look at this balance. Yeah, I like that. The four of the four of wands. You're on the right path, Pisces. You're on the right path. I'm gonna pull one more here. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. So, Pisces, you're going to have some sort of clarity. And I see light all over this reading. I see, oops, my little, my little doggy fell over. I see light here, light here, and light here with the sun. So you're, going to, you're definitely going to be seeing something that was in the dark. You see that sword right there? Yeah, you've got the infinity signs on there too. This is some sort of justice. Yeah. Awesome. I like this. And look at the lightning bolts coming out. There's more lightning bolts coming on that. Shocking. Wow. Let's get a Kipper card or two. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? Official person. Hmm. Official person. Official person is, um, if it's not a police officer, it's, it's a judge. And I'm feeling it's a judge. I see justice, judgment. I mean, I see judgment right there. Judgment could have something to do with you know, the, the, the justice system, uh, official person, this, I think that's a judge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a judge. What else is going on with Pisces? My phone's about ready to die too. That doesn't make me happy. I hope it, if it dies, I'll just charge it and continue on. But I just wanted to let you know it might. And if it does and we won't lose it, we'll just... It'll look weird. It'll be cut out. <laughs> anyway. Next card we have here is Judication. And Judication, see, like I said, this is like probably a judge. Wow. So somebody, you guys could be going through some sort of a, um, some sort of legal deal, you know. What else is going on with Pisces? Well, you know, if you're going through some sort of a legal deal, you know, you're you're the you're the winning you're the winner. You're the winner. Look at this light. Look at the strength and the purity and you you know, yeah. You're going to whatever this is, if this is like some sort of a legal deal, you're going to win it. And what else? Something about some house. Maybe this could be like a gift or some sort of an inheritance or something. Uh, I see some. I I've seen the house come up many times with us Pisces. Yeah, that could be have something to do with the 
with the house. The bottom of the deck, I'm looking at sudden wealth. Wow. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Let's get you uh, one of these uh, shadow cards here, Pisces. And we'll cross our fingers that uh, the battery will hold up. The battery usually holds up. It just it gets down low and it starts, you know, sending me warnings. What's going on with Pisces? Harpy. Harpy. Now, I am going to have to look at this with um, my magnifying glass because I can't really see that. A creature of many guises, in storms I soar, amid vultures and vices, a reflection of life's score. Wow. So just be aware of that there, Pisces, all right? Interesting. That's kind of a scary, that's a kind of a scary shadow card. What else is going on here with Pisces? Oops. I'm dropping these things all over the place. Ah, here we go. Get the Halloween cards out. What's going on with Pisces? Winter. Didn't we pull that yesterday, Pisces? Wow. Well, so, yeah, we pulled this yesterday. If this card's talking about winter. Um, winter is coming, all right? Now, I was thinking about this yesterday because we got this card yesterday, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, almost, it's almost summertime in the Southern Hemisphere. It's spring right now. So, you know, the main, the main deal about this particular card is not the fact that it's almost winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, more so the fact that it's, it's time to let something die and just go away. Out with the new and in with the old. I mean, out with the old and in with the new. All right. I see the death rune here twice. You got the death rune right there, and you got the death rune right there. And, and this is just saying, you know, look at the dead leaf. It's just saying, let things die. You know, just net, let it naturally fall away. What else is going on here? So I already know what that's talking about going on here with Pisces. Wow, Dawn. Dawn. Dawn's a really good one. You know, I, I'm going to have to probably pull the book out just to get the full definition of it because I'm really kind of I'm kind of curious. I know what's really good. It's mean, it means like a new dawn is approaching, you know, and I see it right here with with the death rune. But let's look at and see what it says here in the book. It says here, um, should you receive the dawn card, you are being reminded that there is always a fresh start and new beginnings to be had. <clears throat> Change is unstoppable, and even the most difficult times will pass, no matter how devastating they may seem. Hope is one of the most powerful motivating forces in the universe and is being indicated here. Wow. Deep card. Good card. I like it. I do. Here, let's get one of these moon cards here too. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? It's time to release negativity. It's time to release that negativity, Pisces. Let it die. Let it die. <laughs> Let it fall off. And what else? Let's get one more. One more. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. All right? So have faith in your dreams, Pisces. Things are changing. This, this is going to be a breakthrough for not only for you, but for somebody else here that is very close with you. All right? All right, you guys. 
So let's get right into the birthday uh, runes now. Uh, I hope that uh, there's going to be enough uh, space here for that. So what I'm going to do here, since my phone is going to die, I'm going to turn the, uh, the power off and then I'm going to turn it back on and then I'll put the two videos together. Uh, that way, um, it'll just be easier to, to edit if the, if, the, if the battery goes completely dead. All right, so... All right, so anyway, here we are. Here with birthday runes. All right, Pisces. So Pisces, we have three birthday uh, runes in our in our chart. So first one here is Solo, and this is for Pisces that are born February 19th to February 27th. So if you're born during those days, um, this is going to be your rune. All right. The next rune we have is Tiwaz. And Tiwaz is for Pisces, born February 28th to March um, 14th. So if you're born during those dates, this is going to be your room. All right. And the last one we have here is Barkana. And Barkana is uh, for Pisces, born March 15th to March 20th. All right. And also, I didn't mention this, too. I wanted to bring that up. If you're born on the cusp like the 27th or the 28th, then both of these will be your rune. If you're born on the 14th or the 15th, then both of these will be your rune. All right? All right, so let's get into it. Let's get some runes out. All right. What's going on with Pisces? Nathis. Mm, Nathis. Huh. Nathis is a lacking of. This is a lacking of something. Um, or it could be you're learning something as well. Yeah, either you're lacking something or you're learning something. And, you know, I don't know what that lacking is, but I know, um, yeah, I don't know. Could be, you could be learning something. You know, Pisces, I see a bunch of light in this reading. I see Jarrett twice, and I see the sun. So let's see what else is going on with Pisces. Born February 19th to February 27th. Our wish. Ooh, our wish. Hmm. Okay, so... Our wish is talking about anger. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I gotta find the book for this. It's either talking about being embarrassed or anger. Um, and it, it's probably most likely anger because I'll tell you what, Pisces, you know, um, if you're lacking something that you that you pay for, it's going to make you angry. Like, for example, for me, you know, my internet, my internet went out and, you know, that doesn't make me very happy. You know, I pay for my internet and I expect <laughs> I expect, you know, it to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, just try to watch your temper, Pisces, and release any negativity. All right, let's read what our wish has to say, but that's basically what it's talking about. It could be embarrassment or it could be blushing from um, from passion, all right? Yeah, let me see here. Look inside yourself and do some serious self-reflection or shadow work. You may need to direct your way towards what's more aligned with your goals. Now is, now is the time to grow, improve, and mature. Okay, so now's the time to, um, you know, get rid of the anger, you know, just, you know, and this can also be, you know, a form of disgust, you know, you don't necessarily have to be uh, really angry about a certain situation, but it could be more like a feeling of disgust. Yeah. Hmm. But, you know, it's still a really good reading, and that's just a small part of the day. So <laughs> let's see what else is going on here with you guys. Let's, uh, let's pull one of these uh, shadow cards out. A 
avoidance, avoidance. Uh, it's key to see the need to avoid discomfort, but also to overcome it and thrive. All right, so yeah, just overcome whatever this is and thrive, because you're going to, you're going to thrive. Gosh, should I name the video, you're going to thrive? Now that kind of sounds corny, doesn't it? I don't know. I think that's the hardest part of this is, is thinking of a name. <laughs> Let's get you um let's get you one of these cards here too. <coughs> What's going on with Pisces? Forge a new path. Forge a new path. When you make new choices, you create new results. Let go of old patterns and embrace the power of possibility. You are fully supported. It's like I said, don't do things um, the normal way that you do things. Try doing things a little bit different. Yeah, I like that. Here, let's pull one of these witch runes out here. I still haven't got my witch runes yet. They're coming. I don't know when, but soon, hopefully. <laughs> I think they're coming from overseas, that's why. So we got harvest. Harvest is awesome. What does it say about harvest? Harvest, where are you, Harvest? Yeah, blessings, wealth, and achievement. So this is some sort, you're going to get some sort of achievement, Pisces, and, and some blessing is coming. This is talking about wealth. Yeah, so whatever it is you're lacking, it isn't wealth, it isn't money. It's probably, your, well, maybe some of you guys are lacking money, but whoever this particular reading is, um, you know, this is for all of us, but... Um, I'm picking up, I pick up certain people's uh, energies, mostly mostly those who watch me regularly. And this is talking about some sort of an achievement and some sort of a blessing. Yeah, and money. <laughs> so wealth, you know. Well, you know, I guess I guess you don't have to have money to be wealthy. You could be poor and be wealthy, you know. You could be wealthy in other ways. Yeah, because I'm not definitely wealthy, but I, you know, I feel pretty good that I can, you know, walk, you know, three miles uphill and 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 still function perfectly fine and, and kind of want to go out and do it again. <laughs> so, I mean, that's kind of rich to be able to do that. But anyhow, Pisces, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get here into Tiwaz. So let's get here into Tiwaz, all right? All right, so Pisces, this is for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. So what's going on with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th? Inguas, awesome, Inguas. Inguas is awesome. Inguas is talking about uh, forward movement. It's also talking about, yeah, when I talk about forward movement, I, I, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, something that's going to, like, um, that's going to grow and create. This is something that is going to propel your life forward in a really, um, in a very, very positive way. Inguas is, it, it reminds me of money. If you own a business, this is super good news. Um, and it, it, it can also be sexual energy as well. But um, this is a really powerful rune. So that's a good one. 
Let's get one of these. What's going on with Pisces? Muin, Muin, huh? Muin. Muin is talking about, let's read it. It's the vine tree, we know that, and it's really positive too. Um, what the heck is it? There it is. This is the vine tree. And it's what it means is it's uh, goals to be realized, all right? So you're going to have your goals. They're going to be realized, all right? Personal persuasion, celebration, relaxing, and seeing results. I mean, wow, this is awesome. This is, some, this is something that is actually uh, being manifested that's just coming. You're going to be seeing results of something, all right? Muin symbolizes the metaphor, you reap what you've sown. Yeah, you sure do. And now's the time to have fun and rest and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Vine raises the voice of your consciousness and represents creative inspiration, a relaxed, altered consciousness, and the strength to reveal truths. And I've seen the strength card in there. Yeah, the strength to the re reveal truths with the judgment card. Uh huh. Awesome. It ripens our thoughts just like grapes that turn into amazing wines. It also represents deceit, delusion, or denying the truth. Remember to verify any information you receive and be careful before acting on any information and advice that has been given to you. All right. So in other words, Pisces, uh, use your intuition, all right? Use your intuition. Don't don't just uh um you know, fly thinking that, you know, yeah, it's going to, you know, just make sure that you're using your intuition, you know, that's for sure. All right. So let's let's get you one of these cards. Oops. Well, with Pisces on February 28th to March 14th. Vulnerability, vulnerability. Face hidden anxieties and insecurities head on and you don't let them control you, all right? That's really good advice there. I like that. Let's get one of these. Let it be. Let it be. If you need to solve a problem, ask yourself, what is the simplest way to proceed? When you call forth the simplest path, it appears, and vice versa. Wow, good one. So keep things simple and use your intuition for sure. <laughs> All right, let's pull one of these uh, one of these witch runes out here. What's going on with Pisces? Born February twenty eighth to March fourteenth. The moon, the moon, wow, the moon. So, you know, something's been kept in the dark, Pisces. Something has been kept in the dark. You actually may not even know a lot of what's going on here, but it's going to come, something is going to come to you. You're going to get some information. It's going to be very shocking to you. Um, and it's not going to be in the dark very long because you've just got too much light here. Awesome reading, you guys. I really like that. Let's get into the next rune here. Let's get into Barkana. 
All right, so Barcana is for Pisces that are born March 15th to March 20th. So let's get into it. Let's find um, <clears throat> let's find the runes. There we are. What's going on with Pisces on March 15th to March 20th? El has, El has, hmm. And El has is in reverse. That's feeling insecure. Pisces, El has in reverse is talking about feeling insecure. Um, you, you could be feeling insecure right now about something. There it is, right there. El has. Um. But there's really nothing really so much to feel insecure about. Just keep going with the flow. You got the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, um. This is just in your head. I'm pretty much feeling that. Yeah. Let's get a shadow card. Well, no, here. I want to get I want to get one of the your warm runes first. I'm getting myself in a hurry here cuz I don't want my phone to die. <laughs> that would be kind of like a, you know, right in the middle of the reading. Uh, coal. Coal. Well, Cole is a really good uh, uh, rune. Um, let's see what Cole's talking about. Oops, let's get this back over here. Oh, it has. All right, Cole. All right. Mm. Here it is right here. This is the hazel tree, Pisces, all right? And the meaning of this particular rune is enlightenment, knowledge, Creative inspiration, dreaming rituals, competence, and practicality. So this is this rune here is talking about. In fact, this is one of the most luckiest rune in, runes that are in this particular rune set. Okay, this is talking about using your intuition, and not only using your intuition, but it just comes to you naturally. All right, so just use your intuition, um, and it'll guide you through this insecurity, all right? I know you feel insecure about something. I don't know what the deal is, but um, yeah. Your intuition will tell you what to do and you'll be fine. What else is going on with Pisces? Born March 15th to March 20th. Ooh, escapism, escapism. Huh. Well, you know, it says here, detach from daily struggles and relax, but don't use it as a form of avoidance. So just chill, just chill, all right? Just chill and um, relax. Yeah. Your intuition will tell you what to do, Pisces. You'll know what to do. This is really actually a very good reading. You know, you might want to just like, it may be, you know, the, the shocking news may actually make you feel a little insecure because you don't know really what the heck, but yeah. Maybe you'll want to chill and think about it. What else is going on? Wow, everything is here. I like this. This is really good. Embrace the spiritual belief that everything is already, that everything already exists in the here and the now. Live in the present moment and be grateful for what you have. Wow. So everything is here, Pisces. Everything is here. And that's a great way to manifest things. You know, when you uh, actually believe that, you know, things are right here and right now, it kind of changes things. Yeah. I can't really explain it, but I think a lot of you know what I mean. What's going on with Pisces? March 15th to March 20th. A star. Wow, a star. A wish fulfilled. Yeah, the star here is... Um, is talking about positive influences and what is wished for. 
a wish fulfilled. Wow, good reading, you guys. I really liked it. Just remember, we got we got the four of wands down there. We're on the right track. All right? All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank goodness the power didn't on my phone didn't go out. <laughs> I think it's like 1% right now. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye for now.